Welcome to Daily Dose of Medicine. In this episode, we are going to talk about glucagonoma. Let's get into it. First, it's a rare tumor and it's involving the pancreas. And the tumor arises from the alpha cells of the pancreas. And this tumor secretes glucagon, causing hyperglycemia and a characteristic rash. You can see rash from image. And the symptoms and signs will be same as diabetes because the tumor produces glucagon, which raises blood sugar, same as diabetes. And if you have too much glucagon, your cells don't store sugar and instead sugar stays in your bloodstream. Generally, uh, excessive thirst and hunger due to high blood sugar frequently waking up at night to urinate and diarrhea, skin rash or dermatitis on the face, belly, buttocks and feet and this rash often crusty or filled with pus and we can also see unintentional weight loss. Summary, we will see diabetes mellitus, venous thromboembolism and the classical rash of necrolytic migratory erythema, which you can see from the left side, and a red blistering rash, vermilion tongue and chiliitis. You can see chiliitis from the right image. And the causes, there are no known direct causes of glucagonoma, but if you have a family history of a syndrome called multiple endocrine neoplasia type 1, which is also called MEN1, you have a greater risk of developing this tumor, and which you can see multiple endocrine neoplasia affects pituitary, parathyroid, and pancreatic islet. And since this tumor is arise from pancreatic islet, you gotta be aware of this. For diagnosis, we can look at serum dragon level, which is the most important test and CT and endoscopic ultrasonography to localize it. And a serum level of glucagon more than 1000 petagram usually suggests diagnosis and we should also look at CT scan. And this is an example of clinical presentation. You can see crusty rashes and for treatment, for localized disease, we can use surgical resection. For metastatic disease, which means spread around the body, we can use chemotherapy. And we can also use ocreotide to suppress glucagon production because we have a lot of glucagon in this disease. And the complications generally same as diabetes because High blood sugar is common factor, nerve damage, blindness, metabolic problems, and brain damage can be seen. And for prognosis, when we remove the tumor, the effect of excess glucagon decreases immediately. If the tumor is limited to only the pancreas, the five-year survival rate is 55%. And that's the end of the video. If you find it helpful, please consider liking, commenting, and sharing with your friends.